Hear that truth about Kamala Harris? <laughs> Kamala Harris is a phony who caters to whatever audience is in front of her. I don't know if you saw this, but earlier this week, look up the clip. She went down to Georgia, Georgia and started talking with a fake southern accent. You all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. I'm serious. Now, what the hell was that all about? Kamala Harris grew up in Canada. They don't talk like that in Vancouver or Quebec or wherever she came from. Doesn't matter. It's the same new liberal policies, but a different accent, whoever she's talking to. Now, on November 5th, now, on November 5th, she can go back to using her San Francisco accent because we are going to send her pack in and we're going to elect Donald Trump president of the United States. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Clevy and it is so nice to meet you. We are presented with another video today. And you guys, this is J.D. Van versus CNN reporter. Let's dive right into it done touring the border. Vice President Harris has contended that you and President Trump, former President Trump, had tanked the bipartisan border to be able that would have provided a lot more funding to support the border. What is your response to that? Well, look, the bipartisan border deal was actually a massive giveaway to illegal immigrants. Uh, it would not have solved any of the problems that Kamala Harris has caused. I mean, they came into the administration, they promised from day one that they would suspend deportations, that they would reinstate catch and release, that they would end remain in Mexico. They implemented these policies and it had the intended effect of opening up the southern border. What happened is that Kamala Harris, who was the border czar, decided that this was not good politically. And so they tried to implement some new law that actually wouldn't have solved the underlying problem. They have the tools necessary. They just need to empower Border Patrol to tell people who want to come in illegally, you're not allowed to do that. They just need to use the authority that the border czar Kamala Harris has. I want to ask you about the, the former president's comments yesterday to the National Association of Black Journalists where he said that Vice President Harris is, quote, all of a sudden black. As a father of three biracial children, did those comments give you pause at all? They don't give me pause at all. Look, all he said that is that Kamala Harris is a chameleon. She goes to Georgia two days ago. She was raised in Canada. She puts on a fake Southern accent. She is everything to everybody, and she pretends to be somebody different depending on which audience she's in front of. I think it's totally reasonable for the president to call that out, and that's all he did. I mean, look, she's running as a tough-on-crime prosecutor, even though she implemented open border policy. She's saying that she wants to support the police, yet she wanted to defund the police just three years ago. It's totally reasonable to call out the fact that she pretends to be somebody different depending on the audience she's talking to. You used that word chameleon yesterday as well. You're someone who was an unabashed uh, critic of the former president previously. Now you're his running mate. You're someone who uh, has text, message out, text messages out there now that say, I hate the police. Now yesterday you said, I back the blue. By your own standard, are you a chameleon? Look, I criticized Donald Trump 10 years ago, and we've talked about it, and I've made a, a good argument to the American people about why I think he was a great president and why I think he deserves re-election. That's different than going to Georgia two days ago and putting on a fake Southern accent when you were raised in Canada. So I think it's, it's totally reasonable to change your mind. Has Kamala Harris stood for a tough debate with you and explained why she wanted to ban fracking and now she doesn't, or why she wanted to defund the police and now she doesn't, or why she wanted to open the border but now she doesn't? It's reasonable to change your mind. It's not reasonable to run and hide from the media and not answer the American people's questions. You were, he was also asked yesterday if you were ready to be president on day one. He kind of dodged the question. What do you still have to do as his running mate to prove to him that you are ready to step into that role? Well, I think Donald Trump was answering a political question, and he was answering it correctly. He said for years that who the vice president is doesn't really matter politically. Most Americans are voting either for Kamala Harris or for Donald Trump. They're not voting for the vice presidential nominee of either party. Look, I'm absolutely ready to be president on day one. I've been a businessman. I've been a United States Marine. I've been a senator. I can do the job, but politically, he's just right. People are voting for Donald Trump primarily. So why are you out here today then if you don't, aren't necessary to this process? Well, I didn't say I wasn't necessary to the process. I can certainly make an argument that border czar Kamala Harris has failed the American people, but I think ultimately they're going to be voting either for Kamala Harris or for Donald Trump. Do you have a reaction to the news that just came out about the prisoner swap that will bring two Americans back home potentially? Look, I think it's great news, at least what little we know. We certainly want these Americans to come back home. It was ridiculous that they were in prison to begin with, but we have to ask ourselves, why are they coming home? And I think it's because bad guys all over the world recognize Donald Trump's about to be back in office, so they're cleaning house. That's a good thing, and I think it's a testament to Donald Trump's strength. 
You've, you've explained at length your, your past criticism of the former president. Uh, I'm just curious, though, is there still an issue where you feel like you are on a different level than him, that you feel like you are hoping to sway him on uh, if you were to become his vice president? Look, my job as vice president will be to help implement the governing agenda, and if, God forbid, something happens, to step into the gap. Uh, but Donald Trump's very healthy. I think he's going to be a great president. He's going to be a great president for four years. But my job here is to help prosecute the case, let the American people know what Kamala Harris actually is, what she's actually done, and then when we get in the White House to actually help govern, that's what I'm going to focus so on doing. not an issue where you two differ at all? Look, certainly we're going to differ on issues from time to time, but my, but my job is to provide counsel to the president in private and then try to help him govern and do everything we can to help him do that. Thanks. Appreciate you, Senator. Of course. I don't mind reporters giving politicians hard time because you have to like put them on the hot seat, literally, so they feel it every time. But I am completely over, you know, the unbalanced bias attacks. And of course, if you could, if you watch that very well, you would see that it was also a little bit harsh. However, J.D. Vance did an amazing job. He owned that reporter. And in fact, he proved that, you know, he proved why Trump really did select him. I loved the way J.D. handled that interview. He didn't have to pause. He didn't have to think. He didn't stutter. You know, he answered each of those questions correctly. And this... If you've ever watched any of his interview, you would understand that this is one consistent thing about him. And this is the way he answers questions, which is amazing to me, if you ask. And he did that. And I, and I love what he said. You know, it is important for the American people to really know who, to, to know exactly who Colin Harris is, so they can make an informed vote in November. You guys, November is just, it's just by the corner. November is just here. We need people who are not just voting because of, we are not diving into that yet, but we don't need people that are just coming because of the color of their skin or because of whatsoever. We just need people to come and be informed, know exactly what you want and cast your vote. Don't be, don't, don't, don't let the media sway you. Don't, don't be easily moved. Do you understand me? So, like, that's one thing about, you know, being an informed voter. You're not just b moved by any video there on social media. You know exactly who you want. You know exactly the policies that, you know, resonate well with you. And you go with that person. That is, that is the bottom line of everything. And, and another thing, you guys, I am tired of, I don't know if it's just me, but, you know, this line of, you were once a Trump critic. This gimmick. <laughs> it's okay. It's enough. You guys, are, are we are we forgetting so soon? You know when you know when when um Calabaris, you know, called Joe a racist in 2020. Are we forgetting that so soon? Okay. So let's anytime it has to do with JD Vance, we hear this gimmick line a lot. I am tired of it. Reporters, journalists, move on. <laughs> Choose another thing. I mean, it's okay for people to change who they were want to support. It is, oh, I mean, it happens every time. You change your mindset, you change your decision. So let's, let's, let's let it go. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> for you guys, this was amazing. JD always, always, and will always deliver 100%. I, I mean, I, mean I, I said it the other day that I feel like it was really the best candidate for this as Trump's running mate. I feel like he was really the best candidate. And you guys, I am still waiting for um, who um, Kalama Harris will pick as a running mate. Um, I think um, what, is, what is making rounds is um, this um, governor. This is the governor. But it is not certain. We've not known yet. But if it happens, I need to see running mates have a debate please before november we need to see jd vance and kalama harris you know running mate and let them let them just talk let them debate it out i would really really love to see it but anyways you guys i did enjoy this let me also know your own thoughts in the comment section as usual be respectful and i will see you right there <laughs> bye guys